Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first game of CVL between the Bold Bees and the Bombastic Bandits. Man, this is going to be a tongue twister for me uh, throughout the entire series. But um, yeah, nevertheless, I am very excited to get this show on the way. Starting on the defending team, we have the Bold Bees with Jams, aka JDFM. Uh, Starting on the Viper, and then we've got Puff, the team captain on Sage. Uh, we've got Ashley locking in um, her well-known Neon. Um, Para and Doggy Princess, of course, who we know are major players um, back then in CVL1 um, in Team Pockies. On the other hand, they're facing their ex-teammate Cryptic Rest, who has picked the Duelist. No surprises there. It looks like the rest of the team is still del uh, deliberating. Uh, we've got Doggo Lunar, Lunar, I'm just going to call him Lunar, um, just for simplicity's sake, who is subbing in for Sidon, who unfortunately cannot play, but was part of this team. Um, they've got Nano, and last but not least, they've got Mega. So now, um, a couple... I'm pretty sure most of you guys who have been here for a while has um, seen these players before and you guys know what they're all about. So it's going to be interesting to see how they play against each other, right? They know what um, each other's uh, mains are. And let's see there, whether or not they're going to change that up. Now, right off the bat, um, the first thing I noticed is that Mega, who has, I believe, only played Sova in all of his CVL career, has finally pulled out something different today with um, Sage of all um, agents. Whereas on the other side, you know, Split is usually not a map that you would normally expect to see a Sova in, but it looks like Weeb or Doggy Princess has chosen to go with the Sova this time around. So ladies and gentlemen, we are starting off with game one between the bandits and the beasts. Here we go. Now, right off the bat, it looks like um, Doggo, as well as um, the rest of the uh, Bandits, sorry, I'm getting mixed up with the names, are starting to look um, to pressure mid. Let's see, the bees are just going to be holding a pretty um, simple uh, hold right here, a very standard hold with two on each side and the sage uh, covering the mid. All right, as we get started, um, right before we enter this uh, first round, I just want to um, quickly give a shout out to um, our TikTok where we're going to um, post off the highlights there. Um, and special shout out to uh, the editor, Sidon, as well for doing an amazing job. So if you guys miss this uh, show or you guys are not interested in watching the entire clip or you guys don't have time to, you guys can watch all of the highlights there at TikTok. Um, yeah, that's that. Anyways, um, it looks like the bandits are slowly inching up uh, on B, but uh, the Bs are ready for this as they've all already rotated pretty much. That being said, Cryptic with the opening pick, Ashley trading it out though, and Mega is hurt as well. So even though it's still an even man count, it looks like the uh, bandits are on the back hand. Now, we able to get one as well. Knows that there's two more in Garage. Puff able to um, get one as well, creeping up on Heaven. So now it's all just down to Doggo and Nano here. Let's see what they can do. They are stuck here with no health. I think this round is all but over. Going to uh, the Bees. And it seems like um, Ashley already has a great position as well, but looks like the team captain's just gonna finish it off. First round goes to Bees in a pretty clean fashion. And I think um, on the other side, the bandits were a little bit afraid. Um, you can see them hesitating around um, Garage, uh, despite that good pick uh, right off the bat from Cryptic. And that's going to be the key. Now, uh, one thing that I really like to do is point out who the key players in each game is going to be. And I think uh, on this, it's all going to be down to the two Reyna players who, you know, have been known for carrying their teams both in ranked and in the previous CVL. So these two players have to go popping off if they want a good shot at winning this. And now that's not to say that, um, you know, they're bad teams by any means, but I feel like if uh, either of these teams wants a shot at 
you know, winning this whole thing. This is the game that they gotta win because I feel like going up against the other two teams, you know, with immortal players, that's going to be a very tough matchup. So if they have any chance, this is the best chance they've got. Now it looks like the bandits are just cutting noise, um, slowly rotating over to B, but looks like Jams is ready with his Ares. Oh, the walls drop. Let's see. Puff is going to peek out. We'll get one. Gets two. Looks like he's just going to be backing off. Nano does not want to challenge that. On the other side, looks like um, once again, I mean, the bandits do have garage control and jams will happily just give that up. But question is, what are they going to do from here? And once again, they are backing off, going to rotate uh, through mid. Nano dealing some good damage, but Para's not having any of it. Puff getting four in his uh, second round of the game, and he's already up to seven kills. This man right here is really popping off today. Absolutely insane with what he's been able to do on the Sage so far. I know I give a lot of credit to Cryptic, I give a lot of credit to Para, but you know, just a lot of Dark Horse players here that can really pop off, right? On one hand, we've got um, Puff, of course, and Ashley, who we know have done really well. Even Weeb and even Jams can pull off some uh, miracles here and there as well. And on the other side, of course, Doggo is not someone that you can count out. And uh, according to him, his friend Lunar is also pretty, you know, popping off. Um, or can pop off rather uh, here and there so they definitely do have to be careful but if you're the beast you're definitely happy with how the rounds have been going so far now doggo being able to shut out para that's exactly what they need now it looks like doggo's just going to be healed up and they're going to re uh, approach this this time round though there's going to be two people holding mid ashley with the marshall puff the man that has not died yet looks like he is backing off oh now, she sees them, but she's not going to be able to do anything as Cryptic gets Ashley down. Now, it's all just down to Puff on this defense. He gets blinded, gets spotted. Cryptic going absolutely bananas right now. Now, will he expect Jams? And the answer is no. Jams is going to get one, but now his position has been revealed. Doggy Princess, what can he do? Ooh, he spots Nano, but will not be able to get that one. So yeah, this is all but over. It looks like the bandits recover. Oh, Doggy Princess. Surely, he won't be able to clutch this. I think uh, the bandits know what to do from here, so I, I really doubt that Doggy Princess can get any more than that. But uh, at this point, you know, being behind 2-0, you definitely want to save as many guns as you can into the next round because they're going to be um, behind um, in terms of their econ uh, once again. So they're just going to sit back, not um, chase. And a Doggy Princess is just baiting some shots out, but I don't think there's he's going to get much. So it looks like he's just going to go for the save. You know, he doesn't have a lot to save. Um, I would ideally like to see him, you know, challenge a little bit more. But um, either way, a uh, very good recovery from the bandits here. And now we are two and one. Now, here's the interesting question, right? So the bandits here have three guns, which would, um, you know, it wouldn't be surprising to see the team uh, force here. And looking at it, some of their teammates can buy um, Doggo, can buy Cryptic. Uh, on the other hand, it looks like um, we uh, is going to stay with the Marshall, but the rest of the team is going to buy. So this is going to be the monumental round right here. And I think um, the bandits have made the right decision of, um, you know, buying up. They did save three guns last round. So those players are able to buy the two players that are, um, you know, lacking money. Oh, Jams peaking. That's an aggressive peak, but unfortunately Mega was not able to capitalize on that. On the other side, Puff is pushing up. Now, oh, he spots and he gets spotted too and it looks like uh, the bandits are not just going to give away mid control for free as they break the wall now barrier or broken let's see what they're going to do oh puff showing his head feeling very confident but unfortunately it's not paying off on the other side though the um opposing sage instead has uh taken advantage has um knocked down the viper on team b's now Puff will get challenged, will get one great um, concuss there by Ashley, but unfortunately they couldn't get any more. Ashley just completely whiffing and Mega here, just a one man ban, doing everything on his own, killing, you know, going full Bell Sage. Let's see what Para can do here. He is low, they know where he is. 
Now, all he needs, though, is one kill, and that's, you know, the benefit of having Arena is that she's literally built for these situations. So, let's see what he wants to do here. Now, if he doesn't save and he dies, then that's going to be extremely costly, um, and they're most probably going to have to save next round anyways. But at least they would have one gun. And looks like Para is just going to oh, barely miss a timing. But I think Doggo is going to get this one though. Doggo finishes it off. It's a pretty, pretty clean round for um, the bandits here. And it looks like they have recovered. Now Mega, Mega right here. He's a wild, a wild card. I can definitely uh, consider him a wild card because sometimes, you know, he would play really, really well. And I think um, one thing about this player is that he does lack confidence at times. And I feel like he doesn't give himself enough credit, which kind of shows in his play. But, you know, when you let him loose, when you let him be, you know, do anything he wants, he can really pull off a miracle for you. And, you know, it's... Not gonna lie, I did have my doubts early on, you know, seeing Mega not on the Sova, but he's, it looks like he's proving, you know, to have practiced this, to have done well. Ooh, Doggo gets caught, but will not get killed. Instead, Jams is the one that falls first. Lunar will get brought down. Oh, Puff with two. Nano will be able to close it off, though. So it looks like it's not going to be a clean round. Instead, Ashley uh, will get two. And now it's all just down to Nano here. Let's see what he can do. Now, Nano is making noise, but he's deciding on whether or not he wants to move forward here. On the other side, Para already has um, the flank ready. Now, this should not happen. It looked clean for a second for the bees, uh, or for the bandits, uh, rather, but Ashley being able to salvage this round is very impressive. Now, it looks like, oh, Nano will be able to get one headshot, but will get traded. So, Para is going to complete the Thrifty, a very impressive play there from uh, the bees to be able to hold B so well. And I think one thing that, um, you know, came in clutch of course besides Ashley is uh, Puff being able to get those two clean kills on Lunar and I believe it was on uh, Cryptic if I'm not wrong. So yeah, those are two massive kills and uh, coupled with Ashley's two, it made the retake at the end uh, a lot easier despite Nano having the free bomb sites. Now, um, you know, if you are the bandits, you are not um, two concerned by that you still have money but this is you know a must win round and you know if at the end uh the game gets really close they have to be kicking themselves for that round once again they're not going to give away a uh, mid control for free they are keeping a puff in check making sure that he's constantly watching this it looks like ashley on the other hand wants to challenge though but no, Ashley gets put in her place as Doggo just straight up pushes up, gets that headshot. And now Puff is just tucking himself in the corner, will get overwhelmed this time by Cryptic. And it looks like they're going to be pushing up. Now Jams is stuck in the corner here. What can he do? And he gets spotted out. That corner is no longer safe. The bandits are just taking everything. And that finally is a clean approach to be. It looks like this uh, mid push has been working better for them. Para will be able to get one, so this does raise some questions whether or not um, the bees want to retake this. It looks like they're thinking about it, but um, they have given away their position, so let's see what they can do here. Now, Para is going to push. We'll see Lunar, but will not be able to get that one. And Lunar finally stepping it up with two clean kills um, up in heaven, being able to close it out. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a back and forth in our hands. Both of these teams um, not willing to give up, uh, you know, the lead for their opponents. And uh, now the Beast once again has to save. Of course, they have clutched uh, one anti-eco so far, so... Um, I don't think they're too, um, too concerned, but uh, one thing though is that this, despite this not being their map, um, or this is their map rather, 
Um, but Split is usually known for being a defense-sided map, so the fact that it's still 3-3 is slightly concerning. That being said, Ashley being able to take down Cryptic, if you're the bandits, that cannot happen. The fact that Cryptic is just pushing up alone and, you know, there's no trades forcing Mega to use the um, res on a save round, that's a huge win for the bees. Now, Lunar is going to get a good pick there. Nano will kill Ashley as well, so at least um, the bandits are able to salvage this. Para gets one, though. Gets two. Oh my gosh. There's no way that just happened. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, once again, the Thrifty has been taken. Man, I know... It's the bandits, but it seems like the bandits are the one that's getting stolen off these rounds. And these are rounds that they should not give up. But again, they did not have their um, flank in check. And as a result, you know, Para and Weeb able to go on the flank, being able to clean that off. And uh, once again, the bandits are just making noise, but they're not, they're hesitating to push. The fact that they spent so long to just try to get heaven, you know, gives um, the bees a lot of time and room to uh, look for opportunities like that one. Now, Doggo is going to push. This is a very, very dangerous cross. Now, Ashley will hear one. Oh, but unfortunately, doesn't uh, gets brought down by Doggo. So that's a huge pick. Now, on the other hand, though, um, Puff being able to see one. Let's see if he's going to get this one. Doggy Princess instead is the one that's going to get a pick. Oh, there's no way Puff does not get hit by that doggo. Absolutely confused. Will still be able to get it at the end though, but Jams is already on the flank. Will get both in a clean spray right there to uh, finish off the two low uh, health players from the bandits. Man, if you're the bandits, you really have to be asking yourself, how could you let these rounds go? Right, these are some of the easiest rounds that they could have taken. It was an anti-eco, but both times they have let it flop. And these are just, you know, not rounds that you want to lose, right? These teams were formed one week ago. I expected them to have some sort of coordination going on, but it seems like these players are just playing their own games and they're not really trading, really thinking about what the um, opponent's are capable of, right? Like, I feel like the bees are not playing, you know, super weird, super niche. They are just doing the fundamentals really well, and that's what the bandits really have to focus on. Now, Cryptic being able to get that one is huge. Para has been causing a lot of noise, but the other player that has been causing a lot of noise is this um, player right here. Ashley being able to catch Mega off guard. Now, unfortunately, that was not the spike, but she's able to get three. She's able to get three just from the flank. And once again, the bandits are caught with their pants down. Now, Lunar and Cryptic are um, separated off, but Cryptic will be able to get two. He has the four kills. Now, it's all just down to Jams versus Cryptic here. Let's see if Cryptic can get the ace or will Jams close it out for his team. Looks like he's just going to be backing off. Oh, he sees Cryptic. Will be able to clutch that one, denying Cryptic off the ace. What a huge round here from Jams. And the improvement on this man is absolutely nuts. You know, compare him to how he was um, last CVL. The fact that he is... You know, showing up today, being 5-5-1, five, five and one, showing his value to the team is absolutely insane. Now, do you remember that Jams was the last pick of this draft and he's just proving everyone wrong, right? The fact that he's not at the bottom right now. And not only that, but he has brought real value to this team. It's absolutely monumental for um, the bees. I think um, I definitely don't give him enough credits. Oh, and Ashley now already opping mid. This is absolutely disastrous if your team bandit. What are they going to do here? Looks like they're just going to be backing off. Finally, they're not really going to challenge mid as the rest of the team is ready. Oh, huge dump, dump truck will be able to get one. Lunar trades it out, but what more can they get as... Uh, you know, we able to get two there and jams behind once again. The name of the game right now is just flanks, right? The bandits are just making lots of noise, but they don't have that, 
you know, I, I, I don't know what it is. I'm not sure if it's just a lack of communication or something is going on, right? Um, we do have to note that Aaron, their team captain, is not playing, so that could um, be part of the reason why they have not really been doing well, but... Yeah, the fact that they just make lots of noise, they're all sticking together, clumping together, but they're not watching their back is just something that you gotta question, right? Of course, this is Nano's, um, part of Nano's, uh, responsibility as the Killjoy to watch their backs, and I feel like he hasn't really been doing that that well. Jams being able to pick off Cryptic is huge. Ashley, on the other hand, will get one as well, and now once again, nothing new. The bandits uh, are forced to back. Ashley Jams just making an absolute nightmare uh, for this garage push. Once again, Nano left to his own devices will be picked off by Ashley. She is just absolutely nuts right now. Paired that with Jams and this B defense looks unstoppable. You know, it feels like just a couple of rounds ago, I was just talking about, you know, they might be a little bit worried just because this is a defense sided map and they haven't been doing well, but Man, ever since I said that, they have just proven me absolutely wrong. Now, um, of course, ideally, as bandits, you know, you want this half. And they do have the buy, um, with the exception of Lunar. So hopefully they're able to get this one. Now it looks like Nano is just going to drop his ults immediately. But question is, will Para let this one go? Now that's a good blind. Oh, but they all almost all lined up for Para. Now, Para will peek, will miss that one though. So, Doggo and Mega being able to recover, that's huge right there. Oh, but Puff does get the res, will get Mega as well. And looks like Para, oh, Para and um, Puff are detained, but question is, what can they do off of it? Looks like they can't punish it. Now, this is going to be a hard retake though, especially since Cryptic already got two in heaven. We'll get three, this man. When he pops off, he lets everyone know. Jams, oh, he's not going to be expecting that. And Cryptic with his second 4K in the, in the game. This man is the bright light of the bandits right now. And they need him more than ever. You know, as the rest of the team have not been doing really well, right? Like, you expect Doggo to do better. You expect Mega to do better. But so far, I, I feel like they haven't really um, come alive yet, right? Whereas on the other side, yes, Para is not having the game that we expect. But look at Puff, right? Look at Ashley. Look at Jams. The fact that he's 971. And, you know, I, I feel like I need to stop doubting this man. Because he is absolutely insane. He's been, you know, his contribution is just monumental. And I, I feel like a broken record right now. But I am genuinely impressed with how much he has improved compared to last CVL. Alright, but now let's see. This is a defense-sided map, so let's see what the bandits can do on defense. I just hope that, um, you know, the bees don't make the same mistake. They are taking it a little bit slow. Now, Puff did push up here. Oh, he is going to get swung, but it looks like Lunar. Lunar will be able to get one. So that's a good start. Puff will be able to get out and Doggo with a pick on Ashley as well. Oh, but this man right here, this man right here, oh, and I don't think he spotted either. Cryptic will not see that coming, and now the bandits are flustered. The bandits need to go um, get B, but question is how are they going to do that? As Para already caught so much space, and now they have to check every corner. It looks like Para will whiff though, so I think... The crisis is over. It looks like the bandits are just going to reconvene up uh, in heaven and they're all going to push down. Now it's all just down to Puff and a uh, Weep here. Let's see what they can do. Now Puff will have his um, knife out, but it looks like that's not going to matter. Oh my gosh, Puff, not like this. He's able to get two and Doggo will finish off. So crisis averted. It looks great, but that was definitely a scrappy round. And you know... Considering how the bandits started this whole, you know, round, I expected a cleaner, um, yeah, a cleaner take from them. But I think the fact that Para once again is just able to flank and the fact that bandits once again are not watching their flank is the reason why the bees are still kicking even from a man behind. And, you know, this is something that I think 
a lot of teams have to really study and look at in the future because if if they're going to be playing like this every team needs to have a flank watcher right they need to have a cypher or a killjoy or a chamber because this is the reason why the beasts have done so well is because they gain so much space and you know the bandits on the other hand are just all grouping up and they're very predictable in the way they push that being said, I do have to give them some credit though. Uh, I feel like individually they have um, started to step it up. Doggo and um, Cryptic mainly being able to pick stuff up. Now the bees are just going to look around mid as Ashley is um, just lurking on her own. Jams is going to be the first to push up which is kind of questionable. Oh, get spotted by Nano. I don't think he's going to be expecting um, Lunar here though. Right now, question is, is Lunar going to check it? And it looks like they know and looks like the bandits are just going to push the bees. Lunar will be able to get that one and Cryptic is just going to finish it off with a 3k. This man just is going for the most kills in the league. Now, he did get the most kills in the league last um, season and looks like he's going for a repeat here. So, a flawless round, that's exactly what the bandits need. I feel like the bandits have stepped it up. So, this is looking good, right? Hopefully, they keep can keep this pace, but this is going to be the crucial round right here. Let's see if they're going to be able to clutch this one. Now, um, the bees have the um, weapon advantage, so they should uh, win this round, but if the bandits can um, pull this one out, then I'm starting to believe again. It looks like Cryptic is just going to give that up. Oh, but the mollies are really nice though. And the slow orbs slowing um, the beast down. Now Lunar is going to get a spicy concuss here. But Ashley is not going to let that happen. Oh, she almost got picked off there. But instead it's Jams that's um, getting picked off. So that's a good start to the retake. But Doggy Princess is having none of it as he just blasts Lunar down with the Odin. Cryptic on the other hand being able to get to Doggo and Cryptic. Just absolutely crazy. But this man right here. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. Oh. He does not know where Mega is. And looks like Mega is the one that's going to get this one. So... Once again, another ace denied, but man, that looked so scary. The bandits, though, I'm very impressed. Cryptic and Doggo, besides, you know, almost throwing it at the end, did really well with the Spectre there. And that's one thing that um, you, you kind of like and hate to see in Split, right? The fact that it's so close quartered that if you can get in the right positions, you, you almost think that the Spectre is a better gun than the Phantom just because of their you know, close range prowess there. So um, I, I feel like that's maybe a slight oversight uh, from the beast. I know I'm really being critical right now because I feel like overall they're playing really well. Um, but yeah, that's a huge round if you're the um, bandits. And now all they need is just one more round. Doggo getting antsy will be able to tag Para. So that's a good start, but um, he does not want to go down, especially as the Viper. Right, um, now Aaron's team or um, the bandits, sorry, uh, did do a scrim last week. And one of the things that I pointed out was the fact that, you know, when Doggo falls first, that's when the team falls apart. And I think um, one thing that Doggo has definitely done a lot better is staying alive. And that's exactly what the bandits need if they want a shot at this. Oh, but look at this positioning. Look at where Puff has been able to take. You know, it seems like the Bandit's map is just free real estate right now. I mean, this is not their map, but they are on defense. Cryptic, Mega, and Nano will be able to get one apiece though. So that's a good start at least. Oh, Puff spots one. And there's no communication. There's absolutely no communication. Yes, the bandits are able to clutch that one, but I'm just very confused. The fact that Puff, you know, tags Lunar really low, yet none of the team is turning around, right? They shouldn't have lost anyone there. 
This really makes me concerned watching the bandits, despite them being able to clutch five rounds in a row and bring this game back. It concerns me seeing how uncoordinated, how uncoordinated they are. English is hard. My throat is dry. I am tired. <laughs> But this game is anything but dry. There's just a lot of action left and right. It's absolutely what I want to see from the first game of the first of the second season of CVL. Now looks like the bees are going to rotate back to A, going to try their luck on A again, and it looks like Para is going to leech the charge with Puff. Now Puff is going to spot one, but will get traded out by Lunar. Lunar holding heaven really well. Now Ashley and Para able to get some, but this is still 2v3. Now Doggo still has control over sight tags uh, Ashley low. Now looks like Doggo is finally in the server. Let's see what Para can do here. Doggo and Cryptic suddenly really looking like a menace right now. Looks like Para is just going to be baiting some shots. Going to make some noise here, but I don't think there's much that he can do. And looks like he's just looking around, maybe try to make things expensive. But their, I mean, their economy is not looking good. I feel like if you're Para, getting this pick is not worth more than saving your gun. It looks like he's just going to sit back. Hopefully they do take this time to talk things through because while I have criticized the bandits uh, so far, I think the beasts are starting to fall apart. I don't know if it's just both teams struggling with their attacks or the fact that the bees are starting to get too confident. Now Paris... Um, Location has been spotted. Nano knows exactly where he is, so it looks like neither team really wants to take the great aggressive approach, which is completely fair, right? I I'm pretty sure since this is the first game, these players have not really played against each other on, you know, this caliber of um, pressure. So I think after this game, they're definitely going to um, work out the kings, work out you know some of the flaws, and patch it up by next week. Uh, hopefully by tomorrow, as both of these teams also have another game tomorrow against um, you know the other two teams, the robbers and the prodigies, respectively. So yeah, now the bees once again are going to be on a half by here. I don't really like this force by them, but let's see if it's going to pan out well. Now Nano looks like he's going to be brought over back to B, which is the right call here because despite Nano having a relatively low kill game, his utility usage has been, you know, pretty phenomenal. It's basically everything that you want your killjoy to do. Oh, they almost got shot down, but Mega is the one that's going to fall instead. And Weeb is able to get that kill, so that's a good start for them. And paired up with um, the ult here, I think they have a pretty good shot at this. I think Jams did a really good ult. Cryptic is just pushing through, will die to Puff. Oh, but it looks like Doggo wants to challenge. You know, he said two can play that game, but question is who plays the game better as Doggo is going to push through. Doggy Princess is the one that's going to come out ahead though over Lunar. And Nano will be able to get one, finally um, shutting down Weeb, but will not get much more. And speaking of Weeb, this man has slowly crept up to the second top frag here, just um, behind their team captain. And I think him with the Odin so far has looked very, very annoying to deal with, um, you know, if you're the bandits but uh, luckily the beasts are able to recover there despite a risky force and w one thing that i really like from both teams i have to say right now is that they're playing very fearless the yes they are making mistakes and yes sometimes those um fearlessness is coming back to bite them but as a spectator that makes the game fun to watch right that the fact that no team is playing so methodical it, it feels like there's a lot more action oh as mega just able to la uh, line weeb and ashley up now it's all just down to uh para and jams here jams already taken low so para has to do everything on his own here it looks like Doggo is setting up for a 
interesting lineup. I wonder what where that's going. But it looks like that's not where the bees are going as they are slowly pushing towards A, but Doggo? Ooh, Doggo's just going to barely miss the timing here. Mega though, will he check it? I think they have the right instincts here. The question is, are they going to pick it off? The answer is no, as Para is able to get that one. Now, Cryptic is behind, though. We'll just miss the timing barely. Let's see what Cryptic is going to do here. Looks like Cryptic's just going to finish it off. Very well done by him. Finally, Bandits are the one that's um, lurking this time around. And that's definitely something that they need to do more often. Overall, very impressed with how this team's been able to come back. I've given them, you know, <laughs> a lot of criticism. But I think um, on the back of the individual performances, you know, of Cryptic, of Doggo, of even Mega and Lunar now stepping up. Nano not doing too bad himself as well. Slowly, they've been able to bring this back. All right, and Cryptic, once again, on top of the leaderboard. This man just cannot be stopped. He's absolutely insane. Cryptic, oh, he hears a lot of noise. He's just going to be backing off, which I think is the right um, play here. But Cryptic is not done, though. He is so ready for this. He wants to peek this one. He is thirsty for the kill. Spots one will get Doggy Princess. Is he going to go for more? Oh, he's feeling it. He just wants it. Now, Puff will get the res there, though. But Weeb, once again, will be taken down. And Cryptic spots yet a couple more. Para just barely showing his head. Now, Ashley, I don't think he's going to be ready for this. I don't think Cryptic is going to be ready for Ashley here. Sitting up here on the wall. Is Ashley going to peek this? Ooh, both players can feel it, but neither player wants to take the first step. Looks like they're just going to defuse it. Nothing's going to really come out of that, and the bees are already on the move towards A. Looks like the bandits are pretty slow um, on the rotate. Para, on the other hand, in mid, being able to control that, uh, being able to get Lunar down. And now suddenly, just like that, the bees have a lot of map control. They have control of pretty much the entire mid, the entire A site. But now the bandits are once again on the retake. Ashley being able to pick off Cryptic. That's a huge pick right there if you are the bees. Doggo though. Doggo has not been spotted. Will be able to get one. Will he expect Para? And the answer is no as Para picks that one off. He hears a couple more, so he knows exactly where the bees are coming from. And it looks like, oh, the bandits, sorry, will be able to get um, Para down. Now it's just down to a 2v2. Oh, Nano is going to commit. So Nano and Mega wants to challenge this, but they're running out of time. Jams does get taken down, but I don't think they have time here. And that was quite a questionable um, ult. And Puff being able to close that one out in the end. It looks like he is going to die to this um, spike, but if you're the bees, you know, that's definitely a good round for you. You know, the fact that despite Cryptic getting the first kill, they didn't force it at all. They made sure to really take space, rotate, and being able to catch the um, retakes off guard. It's a very, very well done um, play, a very heads up play by um, Team Bees. And that's how you know. That's how you know that they do have that communications between them, unlike um, what we've seen from Team Bandit so far. Now Cryptic once again challenging, and it seems like the Bees are happy to challenge this one. Cryptic does get spotted though, does get tagged, which forces him back. And now Para is the one that's going for the um, peak instead. Like he knows where Mega is, but looks like he's not going to challenge it. Oh, Mega will get Doggo though, or a uh, Doggy Princess, <laughs> um, rather. No, ooh, not like this. Surely not like this. Okay, he's able to get one, gets two. So Para with a good start there. He does get tagged low, but looks like Lunar is the one that's going to pick him off. So two v two once again. Now, um, if you're looking at the gun um, power right now, of course, um, the bandits have the advantage here. But if you look at the map control and um, the position of where everyone is right now, I think the bees have a really good shot at bringing this one. 
Now Ashley is going to creep over um, towards A to join her teammates. On the other side, a Lunar and a Nano is just pushing together, but they're pushing really slowly. And this is the timidness that we see um, from the first half as well. Ooh, Ashley is going to get a huge pick here. We'll get one. That's all down to Nano and Nano. He knows where she is, but what can he do about it? Okay, he's able to get that one, but once again, it's just too slow. Once again, Puff is just going to plant, win it off of time, and the bees are one inch closer towards getting the first ever victory of Season 2 CVL. Now, I think, once again, the bandits... From from the way they're playing, from the way they're using their utilities, it seems like the rest of the team, you know, besides Cryptic, are happy to go for the retake. But it, it feels like other than Cryptic, the rest of the team don't have that kind of confidence to be able to retake, to have the aggressive stance, you know, to push um, the defending team or the post plant, the attacking team rather. So I, I would like to see them uh, switch up their approach. But it looks like the bees instead are the one that's switching up their approach. Now Doggo is going to push through. Oh, but he does not know that he's walking into a trap right here. Doggo is going to push. We'll spot one. We'll spot the second one though. But Ashley is going to be able to trade it out. So overall, it's going to be a one for one trade. But once again, Doggo is the one that falls. So both Viper falls. But, um, you know, I definitely think Doggo's uh, contribution in this game is higher than Jam's. Um, and just team comp wise, the utility that Doggo brings, right? The fact that he's down means that Puff is able to do things like this. Now Puff already has sights. Sight control goes to the beast. Now Cryptic does pick that one off though. Ashley will get challenged, will get picked off as well. Now Cryptic, this man is just... The, this man is the reason why this game is close in the first place and Cryptic, third! Four kills, 4k in this game. This man is at 30 kill. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first, very first game of CVL, we already have someone dropping the 30 bomb. Absolutely insane. And you know, I talk a lot about the two immortal players being Kiwa and Panda on the other two teams, um, who's going to ballot out later uh, after this game. But Cryptic, I think, is easily the third best, if not one of the top two. I think I wouldn't be surprised at all if Cryptic got the most kills, you know, throughout the whole league. The fact that this man is just playing with absolute confidence and when he needs to step it up, he's able to take, you know, some of the best down, right? Cryptic in the scrim game, despite going up against Panda, despite going up against Kuro, um, two players who are really, really solid, who are higher in rank than him, he's still able to outfrag them um, in a lot of the cases. So, yeah, Cryptic, right now, the bandits need him, and, you know, Aaron, of all people, need him more than ever. Now, do remember that there is something on the line here. We do have a $100 um, reward plus the title, of course, um, for the winning team. Now, it looks like Doggo is the one that's going to be taking the proactive approach this time, picking off Puff, the team captain who's been doing so well for the bees. Now, Para looks like he's going to challenge. Oh, Mega able to pick off Jams, though. So now the bees are down to two players. And two of their um, key utility members are being taken down. Now, Ashley, though, will be able to get that one. So that's a good trade. Cryptic, who's the most crucial from Team Bandit, did fall. But now, oh, can he get this one? Oh, the timing. The timing. Lunar hears this. Lunar gets spotted. Oh, but he's able to hold his own ground. Ashley will be able to get that one, though. No, he gets... She gets spotted. She's going to push through, but Doggo is not going to let her have any space. And now it's all just down to Para. But it looks like Para is going to run out of time. So he's just going to save this one. And yes, they definitely have to, considering that they've, you know, they don't have any money. And if you're the bees, you gotta be kicking yourself, right? Because this was definitely your game to win. But unfortunately, they've just given the round away. They've given the game away. And... I definitely want to see overtime here. Um, 
yeah. I think both of these teams have played really, really well, and it's going to be such a heartbreaker for either of these teams to lose, you know? The fact that they've been able to play this well, but um, just coming in slightly short, that would be a huge heartbreaker. Now for this very last round of regulation, it looks like the Beast wants to go for the E push, deciding to go um, through Doggo instead of Cryptic. Oh, Doggo, does he want this? Oh, Doggo gets spotted! Ashley with a huge pick and Doggo, this cannot happen. Surely they don't throw it like this. Now, oh, Cryptic with a huge miss as well. And now he gets spotted. Oh, he's going to get tagged. This is huge. No way they throw this. Man. You know, after all the good things I talked about Cryptic, I talked about Doggo. I am nothing short of disappointed with how they played that one. The fact that they're just so aggressive. They're just, you know, not showing their opponent the respect they deserve. Man, looks like this is all shaping up to be overtime unless Mega can pull off a miracle here. And looks like Para is just going to shut him down. Ladies and gentlemen, first game of CVL and we already have an overtime. This is exactly what I want to see from all of these teams. I feel like the four teams that we have in the league so far are just really, really tight. Um, really close to each other in uh, terms of skill level. And I think um all four teams have just been absolutely nuts uh you know of course i haven't seen the prodigies play yet but i think um the fact that um the other three teams are just neck and neck with each other is very very nice to see very fun to watch if you're a spectator like myself so over time we go i think we all just need to catch our breath and we're going to go get back at it uh, starting off with beasts once again on the defense and this time around cryptic doggo has you know picked it up they have a re-energized hopefully it translates to their attacking half as well now once again they are going with their uh, mid push that they've done before puff is not making it easy whatsoever though now on the other side Doggy Princess is going to um, shoot his uh, shock darts. We'll be able to tag Cryptic, not deal a significant amount of damage though. Now finally, it looks like Heaven is clear. Oh, Jams will get picked off by Cryptic. Cryptic once again with the opening kill. Now Doggy Princess will not be able to get that one. Mega will also get the trade. Ashley does have the flank though. We'll get two, okay. She's definitely making this interesting for sure, but she's not going to expect Doggo down there. And Doggo will get spotted, but does not matter as he brings those two down. But man, Cryptic once again going in absolutely massive there. And despite Ashley bringing it somewhat close, it looks like the Bandits this time around is going to have the advantage in overtime. Now, defense was their strongest, uh, stronger round, so hopefully they can close it out here. But, you know, the last thing you want to see is just them playing super aggressively, unnecessarily aggressively, like Doggo and Cryptic did just now. Hopefully they don't make that same mistake again. They have a golden opportunity here. Looks like the bees are just going to stick with what works and go for an A push, but this time around they're a little bit less committed here. Mega will take a play out of Puff's playbook and just wall off mid, but the bees are not interested in challenging it. Instead, Lunar is the one that's interested in challenging uh, Ashley, but Para will be able to um, retake control here, and now he has um, control over Ramp. Oh, this is going to be crucial right here. Cryptic, though, being able to pick off Doggo, or Doggy Princess, rather. Para is the one that takes off Doggo's head instead. So now, 3v3, let's see what they can do. Jams, oh, he's going to drop Spike, and that is huge. That's a huge blow. Para misses that one on Nano. Oh, let's see what they can do here. Nano does get picked off, so now it's down to a 2v2. Make that a 2v1. Let's see, can Mega pull this one off? And the answer is no. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to the second overtime between these two uh, teams. Para and um, Puff going in absolutely clutch there, and they're both slowly creeping up on Cryptic here. 
Now, Cryptic has been able to get a lot of first bloods and his fights, you know, his confidence is um, a huge reason why the bandits are, you know, winning at times. But I feel like once he's gone that one, two picks, the fact that he keeps on going for more and getting punished, I think that's the main reason why the bandits fall apart as well. So I feel like Cryptic right now is just a double-edged sword. And if he can control that, I think uh, bandits have a real good shot at not just winning this game, but winning this whole tournament altogether. Puff though, and Ashley will be able to get three in total. Doggo will trade it out. But now, just like that, it's all just down to Doggo and Nano here. Nano wants to push this, but I'm not even sure if this is a smart play. Doggo will just get sprayed through, and I think it's going to be just a matter of time before he falls. And just like that, Para and um, Puff will be able to get that one cleanly. So, a great round for Beast. This time around, the Bees are the one that's uh, that has the advantage. And, you know, if you guys remember the scrim um, the last time around the bandits played it once again went to overtime they played really really well um but yeah they dropped the ball and um i i don't want to jinx them but it seems like they are not really good at closing out games right they've had multiple opportunities both in the previous game and this game but um let's just hope they can bring this back you know they definitely have the skills to do it so that's exactly what I want to see from them. Now, it looks like Doggo and Cryptic is just going to be um, chilling a little bit more, going to play a little bit more passive. This time around, the bees are the one that's going to be attacking B. Oh, okay. Puff did shoot down the, um, the Nano Swarm, so... That would have been a nightmare there. Cryptic is going to be able to pick off jams though. So that's the Viper gone. Doggy Princess though will trade it out on Mega 4v4. Now once again, the bandits are retaking. And this is something that they have not been good at. But then again, Cryptic has been alive. Oh, but we will get three. Nano gets one. So now it's all just down to Doggo. Let's see if Doggo can clutch it out for his team here. He needs to go big right here. But standing in his way is Puff and Ashley, two players that have been really huge uh, for this team. Now, Puff will get picked off, but oh, it's all just down to Ashley. Ashley will wrap around. Let's see if he can pick up Doggo. And she can! Ashley will close it out for the Bees. The Bees will take the first game off CVL. Bandits coming in short. 15-13. GG's to the Bees.